The planet that we live on is full of dinosaurs. These dinosaurs have mastered almost every ecosystem and can be found at almost all levels of the food chain. The dinosaurs today are probably best well known for their flying ability, but this is not the only area in which they thrive. They are masters of the land and the water and can even be found in some of the coldest places on the planet. Although these abilities are rather impressive, the dinosaurs today are not as threatening as their ancestors. Despite this, there are some rather powerful birds and there are definitely some species that have the potential to kill a person. In today's video I will be going through some of these dangerous birds, as I'll be going through five of the most dangerous birds on the planet. And for our first species we'll be heading over to Africa, as we have the ostrich. Now I say the ostrich, but there are actually two species, the Somali ostrich and the common ostrich. In today's video I will be focusing on the common ostrich, as it is the larger of the two birds. The ostrich is part of a diverse group of flightless birds known as the ratites. This group contains some other famous members, such as emus, rias and kiwis. Of course the ostrich is larger than these birds, and it is the largest bird in the world, maxing out at around 2.8 meters in height. Ostriches are normally found in semi-arid habitats, and they are perfectly adapted to these areas. They have long eyelashes to keep the sand out of their eyes, and they can survive up to two weeks without water. They get most of their moisture from their diet, which is mostly made out of plant matter, insects, and lizards. Like many other birds, the ostrich is not the smartest of creatures. Famously, its eyes are bigger than its brain, but what it lacks in smarts, it makes up for in athleticism. Their long powerful legs mean that they can sprint at speed of up to 45 miles per hour, and they can cover almost 5 meters in a single stride. Unsurprisingly, these powerful legs also make them very dangerous, as one kick from an ostrich can kill a human, and it can also kill a lion. Although ostrich attacks on humans are very rare, one rather surprising victim was Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash had a farm in Tennessee, and on this farm he had a few pet ostriches. One day, one of his male ostriches was very mad at him, and decided to attack. Cash was armed with a six-foot stick, but this did little to deter the bird. The ostrich managed to land a kick, and this broke two of his lower ribs and ripped his stomach open down to his belt. Cash eventually managed to scare the ostrich away, and he admitted that he was very lucky to be alive. So I think this story just goes to show how dangerous these large birds really can be. Before our next species, we'll be heading to Central and South America, as we have the Harpy Eagle. The Harpy Eagle is the largest and most powerful raptor found throughout its range, and is among the largest extant species of eagles in the world. These birds typically prefer rainforest habitats, and tend to nest close to the ground. This not only keeps them well hidden, but also gives them a perfect view of their prey. This bird will target almost anything smaller than it, but tend to show a preference for tree-dwelling mammals, such as sloths and monkeys. To kill these prey items, they have impressive talents, and these are the largest talents of any living eagle. One of the stranger things you may notice about this eagle are the feathers around its head. These are known as facial disc feathers, and are very similar to those of owls. In fact, they work in the same way as an owl's facial disc feathers, and direct sound waves towards their ears. This helps to improve their hearing, and their other senses are also quite keen, as their eyesight is thought to be eight times better than a human's. Harpy eagles are monogamous, and they mate for life. Of course, these birds are very protective of their nests, and this is when they can be potentially dangerous. Harpy eagles tend to avoid humans, and attacks are extremely rare. Despite this, if a harpy eagle was to attack you, this attack could prove fatal. One documented harpy eagle attack happened in 2010, when one of these eagles attacked a BBC filmmaker. The cameraman was attempting to place a camera near its nest, and this is when the eagle attacked. So she's now behind me. The harpy eagle swoop almost left him unconscious and knocked out his helmet's communication equipment. The filmmaker was very lucky to survive this, especially because he was so high up in the canopy. So although these birds could potentially take down a human, they tend to focus on other primates. Before our next species, we'll be heading to parts of Eurasia and Africa, as we have the bearded vulture. Now this species is a bit of an oddball in the bird world, but it does have a close relative in the Egyptian vulture. Although they may not look like many other vultures, they do feed in a very similar way. Their German name translates to lamb vulture, as it had a reputation of carrying away lambs, calves and even children, and then dropping them to their deaths. Despite this, these birds are very rarely aggressive towards humans, but they will scavenge dead bodies. Unlike most other vultures that tend to eat rotting flesh, this bird's diet consists almost exclusively of bone. It makes up around 70-90% to 90 of their diet, and it really is quite a strange body part for an animal to feed on. To help them digest this rather solid food, they have extremely acidic stomach acid, which has a pH of around 
round one. This means that they can process bones in under 24 hours and quickly move on to the next meal. Unfortunately, these beautiful large birds are not safe from overhunting. They once had a large stable population in Europe, but by the 1990s, they were almost completely eradicated from Eastern Europe. This has led to them being listed as near threatened, but hopefully they will be able to bounce back in the future. When it comes to munching on bones, there is one rather obvious problem that you might run into. Some bones can be very large, and of course these bones can be very hard to break. When they find a piece of bone they like, they'll fly up high into the sky and attempt to drop these bones on a hard surface. In most cases this cracks the bone and means that it's easier to swallow. Surprisingly these birds don't only drop bones, as they also drop tortoises in the same way to crack open their shells. This behaviour is what really makes them dangerous, because as you can imagine, a tortoise falling from the sky can be potentially dangerous. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the story about the Greek playwright Aeschylus, who was warned in a prophecy about falling objects. Because of this he spent most of his time outside, but unfortunately a large bird, now thought to be the bearded vulture, dropped a tortoise on his bald head. This killed him instantly and proves that if you're bold, you really need to look out for the bearded vulture. Before our next species, we'll be heading to the tropical forests of New Guinea and Australia, as we have the cassowary. Now there are three species of cassowary alive today, but the largest species and the one that I will be focusing on today is the southern cassowary. These birds are related to other flightless birds, such as the previously mentioned ostriches. When it comes to rearing their chicks, the roles are reversed in the cassowary world. A female will lay a clutch of eggs and abandon them, at which point the male will incubate the eggs and rear the chicks. When these chicks grow up, their diet is mostly made up of fruits and berries, of which which there is an interesting selection in their natural habitat. They will also sometimes go after small animals, and rather strangely, they will also eat their own poo. This poo is mostly made up of half-digested fruit, which is still quite nutritious. To some people, the cassowary is the most dangerous bird in the world. This is not only because they have a very powerful kick like the ostriches, but they also have one very long claw. They can use this claw almost like a dagger, and this would be more than enough to take down a human. Like with all the other birds on this list, they are rarely aggressive towards humans, but they have have been responsible for at least two human deaths. One victim was a 16-year-old farmer from Queensland, and the other was a 75-year-old Florida man who kept a cassowary as a pet. So even though these birds are very beautiful, it's best to keep your distance. But for our next species, we will be staying in New Guinea, as we have the hooded pitahui. Now at first glance, this bird may not seem very dangerous at all, because it is relatively small, reaching a maximum size of around 23 centimeters. In most cases, this bird is harmless, especially if you leave it alone. But if you attempt to catch and eat this bird, it may be the last meal that you ever have. The hooded pitahui is one of the world's only toxic birds, and it does have the potential to be fatal. It contains a toxin known as BTX, and this toxin can lead to paralysis, followed by cardiac arrest, and then death. Although this type of poison may be very unique in birds, it can also be found in poison frogs. In fact, these two creatures get their toxicity in the same way, as they both feed on toxic insects, and most commonly toxic beetles. They are not only immune to this toxin, but they also also absorb it and become toxic themselves. This is why it's so dangerous to eat these creatures, and if you find yourself in the rainforests of New Guinea, it's best not to chow down on this dangerous bird. If you know of any other dangerous birds, then let me know down in the comments below, but thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.